Wait, so y'all just gonna leave this lady out here with no clothes on? That is not okay. Due to the circumstances of what it was. Then you all need to call the police. So you all are just gonna leave this lady out here like this. So I'm assuming that you all are with the security department. Okay. Is there a supervisor available? I am so you all are okay with leaving that woman out there like that? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm at a local hospital where individuals have left a patient half naked on the city streets. And it's, it's about 30 degrees out here right now. And I am not sure um, why this is even happening. Uh, but we're gonna find out. Ma'am, are you okay? Are you okay? Huh? Are you unable to speak? Are you okay, ma'am? Do you need me to call the police? Why don't you go and sit down, ma'am? You don't look well. Come and sit down. Come and sit down. Ma'am, come and sit down. Ma'am, why don't you come and sit down? Ma'am? 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 Come and sit down. Let me see. Let me get you some help. Come and sit down. Come on. I know no. it's cool. Okay, ma'am, come and sit down. Come on. They just left all of her stuff out here, right? This is disgusting. That they would just leave her unattended on a bus stop, half naked. It's cold though. And it's gotta be at least 40 degrees, if not cold. It's even colder than that. It's about 30. Ma'am, come and sit down. Come on. Come and sit down. Come on. Over this way. Come on. You have a cell phone on you? Come on, come on and sit down. Ma'am, come on, come and sit down. Yeah, come on and sit down. Are you in pain? Come on and sit down. Come on, sit right here. Come on and sit down. Okay, I'm sure. Okay, okay. I'm gonna get you some help. Just sit right here. Have a seat. Have a seat. Go ahead and sit down. Okay, ma'am, go ahead and sit down. Thank you. And I'm gonna call to get you some help. I know it's cold and you don't have any clothes on, but I'm gonna I'm gonna call and get you some help. Uh, 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 
I don't want to stop recording. You got a phone on you? Shoot. Okay, I'm gonna... Come on now, come on now, come on now. Stay with me. Come on, stay with me. I know you're cold, I wish I had a blanket for you. I know you're cold. You're gonna be okay. Come on now, you gotta smile for me. You're gonna be okay. There you go. Okay, like, there you go. You, you you're gonna be okay. You. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. <laughs> okay, can you breathe? Come on now, come on, stay with me. There you go, there you go, there you go. Here they come. They're coming for you. Okay. 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 Okay, here, here's the follow-up of what I've just experienced. There was a young lady who the hospital, the one of the local hospitals here in the city, discharged on the street, meaning that they wheeled her out here in a wheelchair. Now, this is the ambulance that's, that's going by, and I'm assuming that they are going to take her back to the hospital that irresponsibly discharged her and left her here on this bench with nothing but a hospital gown on and her clothing sitting beside her. Now, when I say she has had no clothes on, she literally had just a hospital gown on, no underwear, and it is at least 30 or colder degrees out here. So the, the, the idea that they are going to take her back to the hospital where security discharged her, that is, that is so irresponsible of not only this ambulance, but also the hospital, when clearly there are some issues that are happening to this young lady. So here I am on the corner of Howard, well, I'm on Howard and at the ambulance entrance of this hospital. And there's the ambulance behind me. And I'm, I'm really wondering if this is going to be the end result. Now, she's not a patient of mine. I, as you, I'm a psychotherapist here in the city, and clearly there are some mental health issues uh, that, uh, that appear to be going on with this individual. So the, the idea that they're discharging her, if she's unruly, which appears to be what so, so one of the gentlemen sort of suggested, that's reason to involuntarily commit her to the behavioral health of psych ward here at the hospital until they're clear about what's happening. You can't expect those with mental health issues to be pleasant because they're ill. So I am still looking at this and I am really wondering as to what's going to happen here. 
I'm disgusted by the display or the lack of empathy that I am seeing displayed not only by the individuals who are driving this ambulance because they were just a matter of fact, they had a matter of fact tone and I did not want to get them on camera without their permission um, because they were coming to help. But it, it just appears as though, as I was talking to the ambulance driver, that this is a norm where individuals who are unruly are left on the street to sort of fend for themselves. I'll bring you more once I find out more.